What name do you think we should have? I have no idea what name we should go for that. I don't know if we're playing male or female neither. They, we'll just say a chef, so I'm guessing it's gender neutral. Purple flirt. Alright, we're gonna be called Purple Flirt. No, it's on Twitch. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of chicken and biscuits. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. That's a modest student apartment? I was thinking something more of the day. Think Who is this, BTS? Um, Fuck out of here. Day. You bust through your morning checklist, teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized, nothing can stop you now. Pits tits ass. <laughs> you for breakfast. Oh. oh, there we go. It's the first one here. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head on. <laughs> Just what you need to get your butt flowing. This piece of shit. A dry biscuit? You ain't gonna wash it down with some sweet tea or juice? It's a dry ass. Biscuit. I'm sorry, that, that biscuit looked kind of dry. That was some honey, or butter, or something to drink. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent university cooking school academy for learning. Where's Gordon Ramsay? This ain't no fucking uh, cooking school. Gordon Ramsay is the pinnacle of every. What about Guy Fieri? I sure am excited, a little nervous, okay? Okay, a lot nervous. What's the, what's the... It's just this morning I made a breakfast for myself, but, but when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? She's actually sad. Don't cry. <laughs> By a master chef parent, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since, oh, this is purple food. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quicksand. What? Quicksand box? <laughs> Sweet girl, Mary. Always.
always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped the tooth practicing on a mannequin. That does actually make me a little sad. Wait, which, where did she chip her teeth? She looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Okay. Remember the cover with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to be a handsome fellow. Come on. It's so fucking sad, goddammit. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, you'll be graduating. You'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. Like Paula D. Except, not like Paula Dean. Don't make Miriam just gonna be a guy. We're gonna roll with that idea. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. Oh, she's mad. You know what? Maybe you're gonna be a bad boy. Not at least I have these killer bangs. I believe you cut them yourself. <laughs> you can definitely believe it. You can definitely believe it. I uh, I can't believe it's not bang. I can't believe it's not bang. Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. Hey! It's Say Ad Asley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help, can't help but feel, be filled with jealousy. You can get anything she wants. Oh, she's got big boobs. Hello, bitch. That's <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much. I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Fuck you. You leave purple flip shins alone. They're perfectly normal. Shut up. Don't get involved. See, she's like fried. You can't stand Ashley, and even her name is annoying, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters, better than anyone, like a fucking Big Mac, but torn up. Thought me on a Big Mac. If anyone here knows what Cookie Chins looks like, it's a... Shut the hell up. She, you're, you're not helping your cause. We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Why is she sticking her tongue out? It's my fucking problem. But she's just like... Is that really the tongue? That's I what it looks I like. I thought that was just like a smile with her mouth kind of open like... Mm-hmm. 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 Vindictive fucking face, this dopey ass. You say vindictive? That looks like she's about to pull a knife. Oh, hold, 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 hold on, I just realized the tears are drumsticks in her fucking stockings. I'm just really not. Yeah, I just realized that. Well, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. You dang right. You fucking. <laughs> you see, I'm really Our adventures, but with fried chicken. I'm not even gonna read this. She's not even happy that he's here. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Mira. I can't believe the University of Cooking School. Okay. 
Academy for Learning will ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? <laughs> or maybe hire or us? Or maybe hire us on as professors. Your amateurs can learn a lot from us. So you resist the urge, boy, I would have fucking led into these fucking two stupid ass looking motherfuckers on day one. I would have made them cry. Let's go, Miriam. Uh, see you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a good guy who's looking for pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Y'all got chicken fingers? <laughs> I know you're not no fucking chef. Pop. Oopsie. I think it's broken. He reached forward and he's gonna pull the door open. His soul just left his body. <laughs> to me, it's a Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. Say what now? I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Wow. Why do you suddenly have a square tooth when you're acting like a dumbass and then have a pointy tooth when you're having whatever? That's uh, could someone like this be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Bob. I'm Purple Flip, so. Alright, no, you need to calm them waterworks with what you got going on down there. Say, That's a boy. Say no. One, two, you look in the I think it's just you. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You both shrug your shoulders before following the building. You stand at the edge of the room. Why would this be a cooking class? Why is a. No! And who the fuck is this? Why is, ma Why is math on the board? Why do I have to know about okay. the hypotenuse? But, but, but there is chicken also on the chalkboard too. That doesn't help why there's a there's a fucking hypotenuse in pie. Pie does not help with actual food. And these are like more fuck it. down everyone who is this unreasonably cute pop and why is he in our culinary my fucking point exactly and there's a chicken on the fucking pillar but he's dry you like must be sprinkles head instructor and ceo of yeah, ucsam please call me professor dog i may be cute and little and fluffy but i still demand respect Woof. Woof. God, Marco, fuck a motherfucker. <laughs> he walks in. <laughs> Typical black. He immediately swept up in the arm of this new student, his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> Not that still. It's, it's him. It's. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Colin? Sanders. <laughs> Colin. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta find out about the Southern Gentleman. 
please call me Colonel. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Get a fan. Swept against the beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. should open the window back up before faucet pit melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Alright, bitch, you need to catch a D from JoJo's Bizarre uh, Cooking Adventures over here and get the fuck out of this class. What is Sparkles reminding of the dog the Cowboy Bebop? A little bit. It's the same dog as a corgi. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Nobody talks to my friend like that. She's been wishing to let the power up. You two both know my name and we're in the same kindergarten class. What is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Purple Flirt swaps, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Alright, shut up, bitch. I'm Sorry, tired of you. She's that friend who tries to defend, but it's awful. She defends. Alright, I'm gonna have to clean myself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Y'all motherfuckers don't believe in AC? <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Silence. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets some ground rules. How do you step in? Welcome to the University of Cooking School, academy for learning the greatest culinary academy in the world. How many times are going to say the title of the school? The birthplace of culinary legends, past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. They may even be really adorable tiny food. Are you going to eat it? And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sports and complete compete in the broom cooking arena. Oh, sports? When do you mean spatulas? And just then, another student enters the class and whatever. <laughs> just then, another student enters the class. Don't you belong in the Nintendo universe? The class is bad enough and interrupting my monologue. You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Wait, what? Third year? What? what? You slacking, dog. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? You're expelled if you utter one more word before I'm finished! Let that be a lesson to you students. That tardiness is unacceptable. Thanks. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. He turns to the student sprinkles. His referencing appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Boy, if your off-brand oyster ass don't get the fuck out of here. The class bursts into laughter. Sprinkles walks into the classroom and everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. I need to say that too. To me. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before. But Sprinkles were giving him a treat from your pocket. Chicken snack beef treat rubber ball? What do you think? This is a dog. Can we give him a chicken snack? His favorite, yes! Oh boy, the game about KFC. You decide to pick a chicken snack and he just loses his fucking testes. Some competition for new star student. Fucking ass kisser. The oh. furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with the coating of warm doggy drool. Bro, I'm gonna need to have to burn my hands. Hey, what if we picked a very ball, rubber ball and he said, I hate this toy? <laughs> I mean, brownie points are good. But seriously, a, a food teacher needs food. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
deliver them and them at all times. Wait, what? Wait, so in your pockets right now is a bunch of different dog treat flavors. So the way you kiss ass with this fucking teacher is by using the snack treat. Alright, I'm gonna the, have to go get Megan strips. That's not the point I'm holding on to. Your pockets are filled with dog treats 24-7? Down, young chefs, take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. Fuck no. Lucky if you get my steak. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. What about two options? Hey, Papa Blurb, there's still a seat here. Fuck it, I'm sitting next to Colonel Sanders. Sit. Seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me. If you're interested. <laughs> I'm sitting my goddamn Colonel fucking Sanders. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Oh, Kawhi, motherfucking. S oh, fuck, whatever. You, you know your best friend's gonna be hurt. It appears you brought no books, pen, or pencil. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Yeah, boy. But that's a pin right there in his sleeve. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. Hey, he pretty buff now from the side angle. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. Don't talk shit about Colonel Sanders, you bitch. Okay, chill out. <laughs> as soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Uh oh. What? Yay! A quiz about me? Shut the fuck up! Bob, we're not talking about you. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for a life in culinary school. I didn't study. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. I already... Alright, having some minor food experience, I know damn well you gotta wash your fucking hands before you start cooking chicken. Of course. I used to work That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... I want to say feather. What the fuck does a chicken have to do with night vision goggles and a slam dunk? Yeah, I guess chicken to feather makes sense. That's right. Okay. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A goddamn spork? A goddamn a comically <laughs> oversized, oversized spork? A meat tenderizer. A spork. I'm going with a spork, baby. What, what food is, food is the best for, for a broken, broken heart? Bro, camel meat? <laughs> a pancake that looks like a silly face. Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. I kind of want to stick with that one. Okay, we'll try it. Oh, wow. I feel good. like all these answers are right. <laughs> you, it just said that. Is Sprinkles good. a good boy? Yes, he He's is. He's a talking dog that teaches. All right, I'm going to have to go with the middle one. Yeah. He's the best boy. Perfect score. Five out of nothing. <laughs> five out of five. We're like killing. Be honest, did you cheat? No. You look up to see the Colonel Sanders and you're watching him tell your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity purple flirt, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance, baby. Herbs and spices. Well, may, easy. I, have, may I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Well, that was quick. Ooh, wow. That is a nice lunch room. It really is. I like the, I like the flowers. Wow, that... <coughs> God, I keep talking like the old dog. <laughs> wow, that the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. Yeah, 
Ask uh, Guy Fieri that, and that'd be an insult. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be a lot. It smells crazy good. Fix your bangs, girl. Crazy. You're looking like hot shit in this restaurant. What do you expect him to get a haircut? Is it about lunch? No, no I, just... I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone, Everyone cheers. Wait for it, but what I... I... Shh! No, 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 you fucking... <laughs> she said shh! In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh-huh! That must be the smell I smell! Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? No, they were lies. Is alive. this? Colonel Salmon lifts a large bucket above his head. It can take the glimmer in the <laughs> It's a bucket of chicken. I have never seen anime chicken with like shitty fucking steam on it hey it's got steam it's got texture <laughs> it looks good i would want to try some piled high are huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel safe warm and safe where are the fucking mashed potatoes I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 <laughs> herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. And you must have not been to India where they make their curry with like over 11 herbs and spices. It smells terrible though. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. Whoa. What do you think you're what do you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw! No, my dude, no. I'm just uh drafting a last will and testament in case uh one of those ingredients is a uh, poison got him. He looks around there and see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn, but it's weak as fuck. To see what Zinger Ash has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. You see those drumsticks? She wants the D. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hand of a true gentleman could could fry chicken so tender. You destroyed your wannabe JoJo's Bizarre Adventures friend. You see her body language change from bitter and sweet. Bitter and evil, sweet and innocent, as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame. With cooking skills like this, she wants it all to herself. Fish, please, mm. back up. Oh, oh please. Hmm. Well, Bam Bam, the man, man, if you don't want any, I'll take it. Well, hold on, I mean, I guess I'll try it. No, no, no. He takes one bite, and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Well, you don't fucked up. Look at his head. He has no pupils. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. He's blushing. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of, it, out of this bucket, and you sink your teeth into it. It's amazing, boy. This ain't Bojangles. The fuck out of here. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Why does that look like an eye? Along with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim toward the light. 
Uh, let's go with focus. So you let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, Salt maybe? maybe? Pepper, Pepper too, too obvious. obvious. Oregano, Oregano, basil, basil maybe, maybe, but, but there's, there's something, something else. else. Something we're, we're speaking dark. of point. That's like, uh, that's like twin spicy. magic. You dig deeper. 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 Yes, even deeper still until you find it. Could it be fuck? <laughs> Glee. He really did it. How bold. How adventurous to use bleep. You should have said fuck. <laughs> oh, no. You try to go even deeper to the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret. And yet now you know a mental responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around, you realize that no one in the room is consumed by the lunch. No one notices that you travel through space and time. Okay, space, maybe time. Too. After tasting this food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He's not smiling. He <laughs> stops what he's doing and he allows you to break the silence. Oh, now he's smiling. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly? was on that chicken. <gasps> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors. He's chicken Moses. Where's the snack come from? That will make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open the chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Blast from the past or it's just the future. You and me here talking, I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Ooh, what's the rush? The semester is only getting started, and we've got two more whole days to get to know each other. Oh, he got that nasty ass face. Of course, <laughs> he ain't sharing his recipe with nobody. He's not gonna give it up. He's <laughs> clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Oh, you've got moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use fuck. <laughs> it's something my great-grandmother taught me. Fuck! Wow! You never have kept that fact! You're not even sure where you get some if you search. And fuck definitely isn't the flavor you've tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But you but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in your huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. I think your math is wrong, because when she went through, or he went through the main character jumping space and time, guessed five, maybe five of the herbs and spices. So your math is definitely off, but you said a lot. Just saying, you're too I think the math makes me agree with that. Oh, it's you again. Howdy! Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds interesting. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. and spices and you added something else might change the world. But isn't there 12 herbs and spices? I don't know. Fuck it. You know what about, you know about that. I was thinking about your secret recipe. Uh -oh. I don't know, but I, I don't, don't doubt, doubt it. It was a, it has a way of leaving an impression on all who taste it. You decided to show them that you also know a thing or two about blowing minds with new flavors. 
I actually had some thoughts on how you could improve it. Pull, pull up the pipe? Improve it. You want to change my secret recipe, and you think you can do better? Uh-oh. Have you heard of habanero peppers? <gasps> heard of them? I tend an entire garden of chili pepper varieties. Habanero, poblano, cayenne, but that's not the point. You can't just toss new ingredients into my secret recipe and inspect to improve it. Yeah, well, be spicy chicken A recipe is about balance. It involves careful consideration and refinement. I didn't mean to. Let this be the last time you improvise on my recipes, purple flirt. I'm headed back to class for the next lesson. I really fucked up on this one. Yeah, that certainly didn't go as planned. <laughs> Obviously not. You better head back inside, but wait a moment. Ah, fine. Cooking arena. You stepped into the massive, okay. Hell's Kitchen. Sorry, that was my bad. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Wait a second. Oh, no. We have to show our stuff? What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything. <laughs> Except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, Welcome to students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Okay, naturally they would, well, naturally, you know, they would pair up. You know. You pounce on Colonel Sanders. Wait, what? <laughs> Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. I like how you just rhymed that. This is like really, this is like really This good. is, this is backstabbing your friend. She's in tears. Look at her. Oh. Wanna be partner? Wanna be my Aww. partner? Sure, Purple Flirt. I'll prepare our station. I don't trust that. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students would be taking notice. Aw. <laughs> the robot is Bob. Hello, new partner. Beep boop. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it with the meme. Burr. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Wow, that's harsh. Fuck a robot. I'm going with the fat kid. You're going to go with the child versus the robot? He might have potential. Sorry, Clank, but I think... <laughs> sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. I'm sorry. What do you mean? It's going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> it's just Clank. His name's Clank. It's funny. Oh, too many... This is like so many game references right I kind of want to do like a... Like a voice. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pick some sister for the thing. Her name is Mary. Oh, this is awful. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. He holds up he a, holds up a banana up. and without peeling it proudly eats the entire thing. Um. It's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act gross style. That face speaks otherwise. I love your enthusiasm, Pop. This bro just ate a fucking banana. Are you sure it's a girl? It could be a guy. Could be a girl. Let's not judge. She looks at you like, really, this Listen. kid? Listen. But it's too late to change your choice now. Should have picked a robot. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. All right, what do you want to make? No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. What if you only have one flint? What are you going to do? Using octopus? No. Yeah. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Mashed potatoes and gravy. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm. Inviting, Dutch. Comfort, uh, comforting. <laughs> Dutch, Dutch. Maybe mashed potatoes. potatoes. <gasps> and, and gravy. I don't know. I fucked up the... Maybe mashed potatoes? And gravy. It's supposed to be, like, repeating, you know? I couldn't imagine one without the other. Like Colonel Sanders. Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Embarrassed, you look 
You quickly turn away. Uh, these really red. They look more purple. I'll go get the potatoes, Dutch. <laughs> no, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Uh-huh. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does any does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? You got damn right, bitch. <laughs> We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. We're just cooking partners, Dutch. Mind your own business. <laughs> Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off of my man. Do you stick drumsticks in your... <laughs> <laughs> Did someone call for me? Not your man. <laughs> oh, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Purple Flirt's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork? That was the deal, remember? The tears. I don't feel your pain. Colonel Sanders turns arms full of peeled potatoes and tosses them into a boiling water. Until we have boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh. Howdy there, Ashley. Right How are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looks like Purple Flip was struggling, so we offered to give him a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was going to say Colonel Sanders. Maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be Fan Van. Personally, I have no doubt what whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your kitchen. Ooh, those cold, purple eyes, and I'm about to smack someone. Don't you feel deep down that we just have complimentary oh, he's shadows? Pissed. He's We've been together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Thigh and drumstick don't go together. I mean, as a whole chicken, yes. But when it comes down to eating them, they don't go together. Because everybody knows they're going to go for that drumstick first before they touch that thigh. Come on. Where, where, my, where, my, where, my, where my drumstick be for that? Turn to Colonel Sanders, Hong Kong of yours in your, in your time of need. What do you think? I think Colonel Sanders will better be the best. I don't know about your best friend. She's gonna manage you right now. I'm here to learn to express myself via my cuisine. Not bigger with my prima donnas. You know, Dutch. Foot you're talking to. I know. The partners were chosen in the beginning of class. So let's all respect the format, okay? Turn to Colonel Sanders and confirm that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements from contracts to handshakes. I took on Purple Flurp as my partner for this activity and I stand by it. Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Purple Flurp's natural talent or their loyalty. Full of potential. Ooh, that person. I think the train. Them eggplants in the corner are kind of like a little horny. <laughs> you look for sprinkles and hope that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but stubby stature. Sturdy. Sturdy. Sturdiness. You look down at your station and realize that in the at the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mash texture with plenty of butter and cream flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps. You know, so oh, 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 your attention was elsewhere. Sorry, that's still. I know just what to do. Oh, sorry, it's expensive. It's holding a beautiful plate. It just got sexual. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. <laughs> oh, you get the cold while you weak. Colonel Sanders, hold the spoon up to you. Oh, okay. You 
reach out and grab hold of it, not to lick. But it doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spoon. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I, really I can't take this picture seriously. <laughs> and for the small moment of all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Sorry. Sorry, guys. That, that picture is making me laugh again. You lock. You, your eyes lock. For a moment, it's scary. If you love something, set it free. If you love something, set it free. Together you dig. Utensils for the mashed potatoes and with a heaping spoon, spoonful of. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, that's sinister? Okay. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Who is heels at the chef? There you go, that's sinister. And then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spoonful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> up a finger full of Van Ben tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realize that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slings, he slings away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? No. Hold on right there, purple flirt. We do not waste food in the boom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. That's going to be the wrap for this stream. I'm glad you had fun. So did we. We'll be seeing you next time with the rest of the